Hi, this is Annette in Austin's lab on stellar spectroscopy. Okay, so what we're going to do today is you want to open up the lab. It looks just like this. You're going to go File, Login, and you're just going to skip this and press OK. You didn't enter anything, and that's OK. So then you're going to go File, Run, and then Classify Spectra. So now we have this screen pop up. And you're going to go File, Unknown Spectrum, Program List. And then we're just going to go ahead and click on the first one. Okay, and then we're also going to do File, um, ooh, Atlas of Standard Spectra. And then we're just going to click on Main Sequence. So we have our star in the middle that we're trying to find out what the spectrum is. And then we have star 05 and then B O V down here. And you can look, you can change these. So you can really do this. So it's just saying like this between this or this one between this one. And O5 is going to be the hottest star. And then as you scroll down this list, it's going to get cooler and cooler. So basically what we're trying, um, oh, and then HD stands for, um, Hen or you can, yeah, stands for Henry Draper, who was the first to photograph a spectrum of a star in 1872. And he was looking at the star Vega when he did this. Okay, so now what we're going to do is you can kind of go down this list and just kind of see, okay, which one matches up or is where, which um, star is, is our star close between. Kind of go down, see, okay, that kind of looks similar, maybe not right. So to really find the difference, you're going to go to difference. And then this is, we're pretty much almost on it. Okay, and so then this Roman V stands for just that it's a star on the main sequence. Okay, so then we're going to press down and just kind of find one that's close. Ooh, too far. Too far. Ooh, this one's closer. So you're going to find like the less difference. So I think this is probably the best one. So then we know that our star is between a1 and A5. So you're also going to go to File, Spectral Line Table, and kind of move this down over here. Um, okay, so we can click on this part. We're going to click on this. Okay, so then we know it's an H epsilon star, and that's just like hydrogen. And then we can kind of click on all these different things. Oh. So this is an H delta, kind of just click, go ahead and click by yourself and just kind of see which one's which. So we know this is an H gamma. So then, so you could probably do it, you could do it like that, but it's just easier to click on this difference button and have, because the computer calculates the difference between these. And so then also, the value we see in the graph are absorption lines, so the things that we're actually clicking on. And meaning that there is an element in the atmosphere of our star that is showing up. So yeah, so then you're just going to find the fingerprint by just going up and down, and we already found it. And then there you go. So once you find a match, you're done. Congratulations. All right, so this is kind of part two of the lab. Um, with the data you, or more, not the data, kind of. So with what you learned in the first half, you can go to your Excel sheet that's in your file and you can start filling out these. So just say like for that star name what type of star it is and explain why. So for this one we put the H1 lines are very strong um, and the calcium 2 lines are between an A0 and A5 star. So just give a little quick um, explanation of why you chose what um, spectral type it is. <coughs> For part two, um, you're going to go look at the wavelengths. So uh, I will open it up really quick. Classify. So, for instance, like this, like the angstroms down here, you can check and see which one it's asking for and just explain, like, okay, um, why is it? what ion or atom is causing that absorption line. And now we're going to go on to part three. This will actually actually use the lab again. So uh, 
might have to close out of this. Okay, so instead of so you'll file run and we're gonna take a spectra. So what we're gonna do is actually find a star in the sky and like record those photons of light coming out of it. So go ahead and open the dome. <coughs> And go ahead and choose any star. Oh, remember to turn tracking on just so it doesn't, the sky isn't moving. And just choose any star you want. Um, doesn't really matter. And once you get close, go ahead and hit change view. And this little slit right here is where we're going to take the reading from. That's what's going to absorb the photons of light. So try to get that centered right in the middle. Once you get that, go ahead and hit <clears throat> take reading. And you're going to hit start resume count. And you can see kind of the graph is starting to form. So maybe wait just like 10 seconds or so just to get enough data. And hit stop. And you can see you have a nice little graph. And we're just going to save this. So it's save. Our object number is right here, so we have 492. Go ahead and just enter that. Or whatever ID it was. Okay, so now it's saved. Uh, oh, we already saved it, so you shouldn't have that problem. Now we can get rid of this because we saved it. Yes, we want to return. And preferences. Nope, not that. Now we want to classify. So you go file, run, classify spectra. And this time you're going to go atlas or, oh sorry, never mind. You're going to go unknown spectrum and go to saved because we want to open the one we just now saved. And so 492, that's ours. Hit OK and there's that same data so now you go file um, spectral line type and again this is going to show us the elements that are in these little dips um, are the absorption lines and just like in the other lab we're going to try to find what kind of star it is so it's a main sequence star so hit OK move that out of the way and start just kinda <clears throat> go through and find something that's close to what that is we'll say maybe that and now you can hit the difference and kinda narrow in on what exactly that is probably a perfect match so we know it's um, a KOV star and or I guess that's five but so you know exactly what star that is or type so you now can go back into Excel and so object name we called that 492 spectral type uh, let's see we call that was a KOV You kind of get the idea. We're just going to be going through, filling this out, explain why. Just say, you know, um, has the exact same absor absorb absorption lines as the KOV. Um, you see the difference is about the same. So just go through. You're getting on the data and everything. You already have right ascension declination. So you can actually go in and enter that. Might as well load that up really quick. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so instead... It was on the take reading. Yeah, when I... Oh, where was it? Oh, right, yeah, so sorry. Instead of hitting save after this, go right to your Excel table and enter in these. That's your parent magnitude, right ascension, declination, um, 
So yeah, you don't have to save it, sorry, just enter that in right away. And so And then I'll calculate the distance. Yeah. Computer. So there should be a formula in there. So just do that for three different stars and yeah, you'll calculate the distance using apparent magnitude and absolute magnitude. And that is the lab. Hopefully you guys don't have any questions and it goes pretty smoothly.